Hey guys, Kevin here. I just wanted to share what I plan on doing in phase three. I plan on doing cathedral to about like 42. Turn in prequests and then come here at like 42, 43. You can do this at 40. It's just needlessly, I guess. Talents and stuff don't matter. This is all ego gear. None of this is good gear. It's odd. This should be even more of a joke than it already is on era. It's it's free. A lot of people are like, oh, should I do a boost, whatever. No, it's it's free. Well, mana shield, ice bearer. Now, the differences from this and the Artelaeus videos back in the day is some of the reset spots got patched. For instance, Artelaeus goes behind this first box right where my mouse is. That got patched out. There's an invisible wall there. It doesn't work. The second spot, however, does. I feel like a lot of people are going to end up having to sit behind this box. You're pretty healthy and confident. You don't even need to reset the mobs. You can just keep running to the graveyard. We can sit there, heal up, eat, and whatever. You can put on mage armor at this point. Nothing else is going to melee us. Now the trick to ZF. If you click the tombs without aggroing the boss, the zombies will hit you immediately. If you trigger the boss and then you hit the graves, the boss will not, or uh, the zombies will not hit you. They'll run to the boss and then run to you. But here, you can go all the way around, pull them, whatever, but find up here. And don't hit these graves so you don't have zombies sitting there. Back into this corner, reset again if you want to. The mirror one pull gonna be doable, probably, at 50, I imagine. Yeah, probably 300 plus. I just might do it better than mages too. Who knows? We'll see. If the data mine for frozen orbs is a real thing, then that makes mages a lot stronger. So this corner jump, you can make it when you're mounted, when you're in combat, come out, so. You can run all the way around. Or just wait till you drop combat and then mount up and jump. Yeah. 
from here. We'll pull these fire mobs. These fire mobs are going to pull and aggro these mobs here. We're going to pull the stuff by the boss. And then we're going to pull this back thing. The boss mobs here will pull this entire side there. And then we'll have to manually pull those far ones there. It actually didn't pull. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of slow at this corner to buy time for or that group of my brother. Now the boss is aggroed, but he'll reset when he turns that corner. Now, in Sod, at this point, what I would do, oh my goodness, I'd be sitting here and throwing up six living bombs, bomb, I've been bombing, and then I'd throw living flame, rank one blizzard, and just sit there as all six go off, and then probably just repeat that over and over and over. On Era, however, you have to sit here, hold rank one blizzard, and then if you want to, you can max rank if you have mana. I just had a level 40 mage. Uh, I had this guy on hardcore. And so I ripped him and then sent him to uh, white man. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of handy. Damn rip. It was, it was worth it. Yeah, here I would just be living bombing, living, bombing, living, bombing, living. I'd probably living bomb when they're running towards you on this side and then jump to where I am now. Good. For instance, like right here, be living, bombing, living, bombing. And as soon as I jump over, you just living flame, blizzard. Living flame, blizzard. What I'm doing is rank one blizzard. Once they're all slowed and grouped up, then I'm max ranking. Like right there, max rank. And then we'll jump back over and Evo and keep doing the same. I don't think this will be worth doing on Saud though. I think Living Bomb and Living Flames too OP. Am I going to wear a radiated? Uh, I, don't I don't think my mage has full radiated, I'll be honest. I don't know. I feel like a radiated, it's not that much better. With the living bombs and the proc from spamming living bombs of the actual like tier set one, I feel like it's just better. Yeah, and Saad, I'm pretty sure this will be over by like 7 minutes instead of 9 minutes. It's free on era. Here's really bad. Obviously 40 to 50, I'm not going to bother looting. 
on Sire character. I could probably use a little bit of gold. And then, what I spent a bunch of hours doing was trying to find a logout skip. At the moment, if you log out and then reset it on an alt, you will get hurt. Won't work. So I tried hanging off every object I could think of, trying to get to work. Couldn't find one. And I looked up Tommy Salami's suggestions. He suggested caves. I ran over to this cave. Running out's just annoying. If you have to sit there and reset the mobs, you're probably going to die. Here's an evade spot. And these crocs will end up dying here before they heal back up. So heal up a little bit. So jump here. Log out. And now we're back at the start. There we go again. Spent a bunch of hours trying to find that spot to log out. Um, one thing I want to stress, boosting in this place sucks. In order for boosties to get experience, they have to make it like way up there. Some spot where they just AFK. It's the most annoying thing in the world. Trying to rely on boosties to get there. This place sucks. So Mera will probably be the boost, or even Beardy or something like that. But yeah, and Sod, we're probably going to hit lockout, guaranteed. That bull's probably going to die at 7 minutes, and then what I would do is the Scarabs. The Scarabs is probably the best bet. But yeah, 40 to 50 is going to be crazy fast. Hunters will probably beat mages because they can deal with orange mobs a lot easier. Like, for instance, Scarabs are 46, so mages, it's really annoying doing it at, like, 43 or... 44 is possible because they're not orange anymore and they won't resist orange terminator at you through blizzard like hunters won't really have that issue another thing with scarabs you can pull them all they all social you block come out and then you can run away and do two blizzards and then do like a shatter combo just nova flame strike kind of cold and they'll die you can also just sit there and nova out of the block throw up some bombs kind of cold living flame and just Spam AE and everything dies. But yeah. At 44 to 50, I'll probably throw in scarabs till I'm closer to 13 minutes. Because that reset spot by the cave is right beside the scarabs anyways, right? So, once again, the RLA's video, I'll try to show you. As well, I'll see. So, if you run up this left side with a mount, by the way, you will get demounted. Like, right here. So that way is really good without a mount, but when you have a mount, you don't get hit in the back, don't get dazed. Well, our latest video, he goes to this box right here and resets. There's an invisible wall here now. You can't, can't go back here. You used to be able to. Instead, the second spot that he shows Back here, okay, still works. One thing with this reset spot, if you're up here, they're going to be in line of sight, and it won't really work. Now, if you're right here, there's going to be a patrol that walks by and pulls, so you won't reset. The best place to be is, like, out of line of sight of that patrol, just kind of off to the side and still out of line of sight. If you're a really big character, like a troll, you might have some issues resetting here. Like, here's the patrol I was thinking about. As long as you're off to the side, you won't pull. If I was right in the middle part, I would pull. Ideally, what I'm going to end up doing is just not even reset here. This is, like, worst case scenario if you need to reset there. And then here, don't baseball those guys because those guys are melees. These guys are most likely casters. 
And then you can just take a detour over these pots and you kind of lose them. As long as you don't get hit in the back, you won't get days off your map. It's pretty free. Compared to like Cathedral and stuff like that, this place is free. This is the freest boost ever. Anyways, thanks for watching.